Hi, I'm Amy and I'm so excited because today, this afternoon, I got to come to Cricket Headquarters and check out all the fun things that they're doing. And I'm so excited because this year for Christmas, thanks to Surprise! Cricket, I'm getting a Cricket Maker. And so I came today to learn about all the fancy things it does. And you've probably seen, you know, deck up machines before, but this one is so neat because it has this capacity to cut fabric without having to bond it and you can cut all kinds of shapes and I'm gonna turn it over to Melissa because she's the pro <laughs> and have her demo how it works and how, oh my gosh, I'm blown away at how easy. It's fun, we, it got, we got to play with it today and do some fun stuff, but we wanted to take a minute and show it to you guys as well in case any of you are getting it for a Christmas surprise or if you have somebody who you know, needs a last minute nudge. Maybe they don't know what to get you and they've been procrastinating. Tag them. Hubbies. In this mm -hmm. post. <laughs> you can share it with them, <laughs> subtle hint, whatever you want. But we wanted to show you some of the cool stuff. So this machine is the Cricut Maker Machine. Ta-da. And the number one biggest thing that is brand new and different about this machine is the adaptive tool system. So the adaptive tool system will grow over time. We're gonna be adding more tools to it. But the one that it launched with is actually a rotary blade. So, so cool. Neat. Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> and that is how we're able to cut fabric, unlike any of the other digital cutting mm -hmm. machines. We're just cutting plain cotton straight off the bolt to make a quilt today. So it's nice and soft. We didn't have to put any heat and bond or That's anything amazing. on it. Because who loves having an extra step? when your project's already gonna take a whole bunch of time, right? Yeah, especially a quilt. <laughs> yeah, and, and we want it to be soft when it's finished. We don't want it to be stiff. Yeah, not that stiff, kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. crinkly. Right. Crinkly is not yeah. a good feeling with the blanket. With the quilt, yeah. <laughs> so the way that most cutting machines work, and this is even true for other Cricut cutting machines, is they have a blade that kind of pivots usually freely in mm -hmm. its housing and it drags through your material and the machine drags it along a path so that it cuts out. But if you, we're gonna talk about pizza for a minute because this is my favorite way to explain it. If you had a fresh warm pizza and you tried to cut it with a steak knife, all the toppings are gonna get snagged up as that blade drags through. And the yeah. fibers, your threads and your fabric kind of work the same way. That's why you have to stabilize your fabric so you're holding all the threads in place. So a rotary blade is like a pizza cutter and it rolls while it cuts. So instead of snagging all the toppings and dragging them, it actually spins while it cuts so that they stay in place as you go across the surface of the fabric. Awesome. Cool, huh? So one thing that's unique is this blade has a gear at the top and that's part of the adaptive tool system. So this machine can take any of the older blades from the Cricut Explore machines and you can use those blades in this machine to cut paper or iron on or vinyl or anything but this rotary blade cannot go backwards and be used in those other machines. Because this gear at the top, all this stuff keeps sticking to me. <laughs> That's what happens in the craft threads, room, you're covered fabric. in thread. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this gear, when you reach a tight corner on your shape or, or even a sharp mm -hmm. corner, the machine actually picks up the blade and turns it and then sets it drops down it. at the new angle, drops it down and keeps cutting. And the machine controls the spinning of the blade, how fast and what direction it spins. So we're gonna show that to you guys. So this is the rotary blade that goes in the maker. And all you do is you just open up the door and then you make sure that that gear is, is you know, synced up with the gear in the machine. And then we just are gonna close the door and that's it. So I was amazed at how simple I know. it was. To Deceptively just easy. It yeah. seems, seems like it should be harder given what it's capable of. So today we're using the iOS app. You can use this machine with your computer or an Android device or an iPad or your iPhone. I've connected my iPad over Bluetooth, so it's wirelessly connected to this machine. And we set up the design that we're gonna be cutting today. Thank you. So this is Cricut Design Space. If you want, the app is free, the software is free. So you can find it in your app store or on your computer if you wanna play around with it. So we've created ABC and a little heart. And one thing I love about the machine is it actually has a tray that holds your iPad. So if you're like so me smart. and you like to watch Netflix while you're working <laughs> on a project, not only do I you have- like sewing machine to yeah, have one of those. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it has even a charging port that's built into the side. So right now, the phone we're using to film, we're actually charging that phone from this <laughs> my machine. my phone was dying. <laughs> so we've connected this via Bluetooth, 
And all I have to do is I'm just gonna click make it, this little green button in the corner. And that's gonna take the data and it's gonna send it over to my machine, my map. So on your map preview, you can move your designs around. Maybe if your fabric was missing this piece, you've already used part of it. You can move it around. Which that is so nice because with a die cut machine, it's really, you get a lot of waste yeah, and you can't that's true. use those scraps. That's very, very true. In fact, we should do a video some other time. There's an advanced feature. Give us a comment if you guys like to do fussy cutting. I do because wanna, I, I was <laughs> hearing about that and I, I couldn't figure it out. So I'd love, yeah, that would be so absolutely. fun. Absolutely. So I haven't even shown this to Amy so yet. Fun. But there's a feature called Snap Mat. If you want, you can Google it, but we'll have to do a different video yeah. too. Or Amy can put together a tutorial to show you for fussy cutting. But today we're just gonna cut out these basic pieces out of our fabric. So we place them where we want on the mat, and then you just hit continue. And we have the Cricut fabric mat, and it's sticky, so it holds your fabric in place. So you cut it down to 12 inches wide and you stick it pretty side down, so face down on your mat. This is sending it all over and then we're gonna hit the arrow and you always wanna hold your mat with one hand because gravity is gonna try to pull it out of the machine. So you're gonna hold it right up against these rubber rollers and you're gonna press this arrow to load the mat into the machine. So it's gonna load it all in. Awesome. Um, if any of you guys have ever used any other cutting machine before, especially if you've used a Cricut machine, leave a comment. Have you ever forgotten to change your setting? Like if you started working on cardstock and now you're working on vinyl, <laughs> you forget to change the material. In this one, with this machine, that dial and all of those settings are programmed into the software. So oh, you nice. don't have to worry about that. So all you do is we're just gonna select cotton. That's the material that we're cutting today and it does all the settings for you. So you don't wow. have to worry about your pressure or your depth yeah. or if you're doing multiple cuts or anything, it's just programmed in. So we've already loaded our mat in. Do you wanna do the honors, Amy, yeah, and sure. hit the cut button? And if you zoom in, you can see that rotary blade is going to first come over here and make sure we have the right blade loaded in the machine. So that's another thing we want to make sure that you don't so forget. Smart. It's going to make sure it has the rotary blade, not our vinyl blade or our paper blade loaded in. And it's going to go ahead and Checking. come over and cut our shapes. And the one thing I, lo I love that it's so customizable. That I can yeah. pick a variety of shapes and that they're really intricate shapes that I wouldn't want to... <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't even want to hand cut, even if I was tracing them. And yeah. they're just so much more accurate. The nice, you know, perfect. I'm so excited to cut circles and be able to do multiple size yeah. circles with this, <laughs> where they're perfect circles. And you don't have to store anything. You know, you don't yeah. have to have a whole separate bookshelf mm -hmm. with all your separate things that you spend a bunch of money on, all your different dyes, and all of that. Well, and I also love that I get really good use of, we already kind of talked about this, but of the fabric, that it's just going to cut right here. It's not like right in the middle. Yeah. And then I have all this fabric I can't True, use yeah. as well again. So that's a great feature. So for anybody who's never seen this before, I'm sure you have questions. Leave them in the comments and we will answer as many questions as we can. We'll come back after the video. If I too. can't answer them, I'll email Melissa <laughs> and get the answers. We've got a whole army of friends that will help answer as well. I'm so excited to start playing with mine it's at so home. Much fun, I can't, huh? now, now I feel, I just was amazed at how easy the interface was, how it just was really very intuitive. Yeah. Like it wasn't Today complex. was the first time that you've ever Did used the first it, time. Huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And it was so fun to see just how well, I'm still just amazed it just cut the fabric. Yeah. So here's, let's show some of the pieces that we cut out earlier. When so we here's showing. this cute heart. So this was a little, I had someone walk me through it. This we actually cut um, these two at the same time and then was able to separate. So there's that capacity to do a cut out inside a die cut. You know, and again, this was good use of fabrics. I got both the heart and the apple shape, and now they're easy to, to play with, applique, whatever I end up doing with them. So, and we did four at once. It was really easy to, there was just a, a button, uh, a place to put a number and I could repeat. So I did four in this amount of space with the four hearts. And so it's just great fabric yeah. use. So one thing, another thing we didn't get to today, but I'd love to do more mm -hmm. in the future, you can also cut out fleece or minky 
I'm so excited to try denim. felt. Yeah, yeah, felt, canvas. I love wool felt. Um, with this rotary blade, even if any of you are paper crafters, you can cut crepe paper now. There's oh, wow. a lot of delicate materials. You can even cut like silk and satin and chiffon. That's amazing. And tool, like netting. It's it's really, Together. really fun oh, to play I'm with. I'm so excited <laughs> to play with it. All so right, we're just going to hit the flashing arrow. Okay. It's all finished. Oh! Here it comes. It's going to unload it for us. And do you want to do the honors? Sure. So we just kind of start. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Just kind of gently pull my fabric off this sticky pad. So here. And one thing we didn't say, which I would have forgotten, is that I forgot. <laughs> is to reverse yep. the so we didn't so our letters, you know, obviously they're cut reverse so that when oh let's see, where's my little there's a great little tool, but oh, so what happened is I should have let me see. You do it. I should have cut these letters reversed. In fact, let me show you how to do that in the software. So since we're pretty side down, I want to cut these letters out backwards. Because right now, when I take them off, they're going to be facing the wrong direction. I will pull up. But the let's heart, take though. off the heart and show you guys that piece. And this is obviously really, really thin font, but there's so many a variety of bigger fonts, thicker fonts that you you know. So if you are like me and you forget to mirror it your first time, the way that you do that, there's two different ways. So in our design canvas, we can mirror things and flip them here. We're just going to come down to the bottom. And this will be good for you to for you to yeah. know later, Amy. And you can flip them that way. Or once you're on your map preview screen, you also have the option to click mirror right here and it flips things backwards. So let's cut those letters out. We're gonna delete the heart for now. And, and let's cut them big. out really big, like if Perfect. you wanted to do maybe a signature block on a quilt, Perfect. if you wanted to put somebody's name, or this would be cute on a baby quilt. Yeah. So, so you can person. zoom in and out on the software too. And then as I'm dragging this arrow, it tells me my width and height, and that's for all three letters. And let's make them, let's see, why don't we just cut out one of the letters? So that was about 10 inches tall. And like she was, like you were saying, Amy, this is nice. You don't have to have anything separate mm -hmm. to cut that piece out. So let me grab an extra piece of fabric. We're gonna take all these pieces off. In fact, I don't know. What do you think? Let's just use that one again. You wanna use the same yeah, fabric? We're fine. talking about scraps. Yep. Let's show how that how easy okay. that is. So I'm gonna take these letters off and place them to the side. And and just to say, you you could use bonded fabric as well. Put the yeah. the lightweight like the featherweight heat and bond on, so that it especially with something really narrow like that where it's gonna be difficult to you know whether you're raw edge stitching or applique stitching it down. So you do have the heat and bond on, you can just press it in place. That'll hold it in place if you still wanna. So I, I, there's lots of great products now that aren't even as, as thick. Yeah, and that's a great point too. So with this machine, you don't have to have heat and bond or any stabilizer, but if you have an applique project and you wanna have heat and bond, you still have that option have with both the machine. Options. Yeah, you have both possibilities. And you would still use the rotary cutter um, you can, but you don't have to. Okay. Yeah, you can just use the regular fine point blade. In fact, our other machines, so like the Explore mm -hmm. machines, which are even more affordable, can do that as well. So let's, I'm gonna break those letters apart. Or if you have something typed and you wanna change what it says, you just double click and it'll allow you to edit your text. There we go. Perfect. Cute. And I'm going to move it away from the edge a little bit just because I like to have a little, a little bit of extra space. And you can also zoom in on your map preview screen as well. So that's going to send it all over. And we have, when it sends the data over and you're selecting your material, the most commonly cut materials are the ones that are going to pop up on the screen. Okay but we have hundreds and hundreds programmed in. So there's an option to select and search for your other material. So if fleece isn't one of the seven mm -hmm. most common materials, which it's never gonna be. See, we've got like cotton, iron-on, vinyl, metallic poster board, medium fabrics like cotton, light fabrics like silk. Mm. You can click on all materials and it's gonna open up this menu, which is alphabetic. 
but you can also search for exactly what you well, want. Well, nice that it's sorted also by material. Yeah, by categories mm -hmm. for you. So we just want cotton, so we're going to go ahead and close out of that. that so that's good to know, because I love, like, Liberty Lawn is a lighter weight, yeah, so we can, yeah. that's good that it adjusts. And you do have the option as well if you want to just say cotton, but a little bit lighter. You can click on this pressure, and you uh -huh. have default, light, and heavy wow. pressure for that material. So we've selected our material, we've got it where we want on the mat, and then we're just going to press go on that button. And one thing that I like with the wireless, it gives you a progress wheel as it's cutting, mm -hmm. and it's connected by Bluetooth. So as long as you stay in Bluetooth range, oh, it's wireless. <laughs> so your... I'll take this go and back go to in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, go back to Netflix <laughs> or go in the kitchen and work on dinner or whatever else I have going on. And I know when it's time and to come back to change. Especially if you're doing a really complex, like yeah. a lot of shapes at once. Yeah, you can we've just walk got, away. That's so nice. We've got our mat that's 24 inches long, so it's twice as big as this. So if you were cutting out purple mm -hmm. and you wanted to cut out 100 at a time, oh, yeah. you, right? <laughs> you can get something else done while it doesn't work for you. I'm excited to see this one come out. And Melissa also demonstrated to me earlier, they have a really, the, the rotary cutter blades last a really long time. I was talking to Deanna and she's tons of <laughs> months worth of projects and the rotary cutter did really great. But if it does get a nick like any rotary cutter does, it's really easy and safe. They have a really safe way to change the blade because you're dealing with a really tiny blade. It's so smart. So it's so tiny and sharp there's not really a good safe way to touch it because all the edges mm -hmm. are sharp. It's sharp all the way around. So we have this special little kit when you buy a replacement blade. In fact, that's already done cutting. Awesome. So I'll just take the blade and yeah. show you. Let's, let's show it. Here, hang okay. on. Let's, oh, let's we'll pull it out. Okay. So this blade pushes in. So this piece of plastic is empty. So you take your blade and you push it into that clear housing and it snaps in place and your old blade is now inside of this plastic housing. So you use this little screwdriver to take out this screw. You take this out and the blade is not in it anymore. And you put the new one in and then you tighten the screw and pull it out. So your old blade is in here. So you're not cutting your fingers on it. Your new blade is safely installed and you don't ever have to That's put so yourself in even harm. safer than my rotary cutter. Yeah. <laughs> Which can still be scary. Yeah. We all cut ourselves with a, with a handheld rotary cutter. Yeah. Those so things are dangerous. <laughs> So yeah, do you want to go ahead and sure. show the letter yep. here? Let's pull it off. Oh, this is cute. I love how so you can see our little apples from earlier. One thing that's oh. fun too is the Cricut software has tons and tons of fonts, but it'll also pick up any installed fonts that you have. So oh, you can neat. Pick any cute font that you want to make Let's your see. monogram pieces out of. So and get there all is styles. a cute little A. Fun. Pretty neat, huh? Yes. I love it. <laughs> Perfect for Amy. Yeah. Amy. Apples. <laughs> Apples. We're just all ready. Yes. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Of it was so fun to get a uh, in person tutorial on how to use it and be able to show other people yeah. how awesome it is. I can't wait. I'm so excited to go home and, and Merry play Christmas. with it. I'm excited. So Amy's going to put together a review of the machine and some of her favorite things. We're going to be working together on some awesome sponsored posts coming out. So leave a comment and tell us what you want to see. Yeah, okay? what would you like to know? What, what questions do you have? And I'm so excited to go home and with the new year plan some fun projects yeah. using the Cricut Maker. Yay. So fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks.